Oh, hello everybody. No intro today, that didn't feel right, but I did want to learn this one today in honor of Miss Presley. It's my favorite Elvis song. Okay, for the intro, grab a D chord. And we want, what we want to do is we want the G string to go from two to four and back. Now that's a little tricky for me with my pinky finger. <laughs> So I'm going to eschew that E string and just play the G string 2nd fret and the B string 3rd fret. I'm going to use my ring finger to grab that G string and you'll find it roughly 43 times easier. And that's your intro. I think it's important to give things names so that you can keep track of things, even if they're names that only make sense to you. For instance, when we've got the open D string, as we have when we're playing a D chord, and we move that A note on the G string to a B note, what we have in a different rhythm and context is this. Right, so I call that thing, however you're doing it, whether with the chord or just by itself, I call that thing the cowboy bounce, because it sounds to me like cowboys kind of sauntering into town to the extent that cowboys saunter. Um, but the idea is we've got D, which is of course the root note of our D chord, and we've got A, which is the fifth, and we're turning this fifth into the sixth. B, we're talking about notes of the D major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one again. So the cowboy bounce, as I call it, is what you get when you do a root fifth thing and turn that fifth into a sixth. On to the verse. D, two, three, four, G, A, D, two, three, four, five, six, you can continue the cowboy bounce in the long D in the verse. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you like, or not. But that's the verse. One, two, three, four, G, A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over and over again. Kisses take me higher, the chorus. B minor, A. Second time, B minor, A, G. Last time, B minor, A, G, A. Intro. Want to be really super fancy when you get back to that intro? You can employ the D chord, but one octave higher. So instead of second and third frets, I'm going to put it on the 14th and 15th frets like this. And the last thing to discuss before you go sing this on the mountaintops is the outro. Hunk a hunk a burn in love. It's just D and G or D and G7. You can employ the 